Welcome back to our Alltown Case of the Month series. Feel free to comment below and I'll attempt to address any questions or concerns. This case was seen by the resident, Dr. Austin Daly, and attending Dr. Ken Root. The case starts with a 23-year-old female presenting with chest pain and epigastric pain. Before the examination, the resident was able to skim the medical record and realize this was her fourth visit to emergency department in the past two weeks for largely the same complaint. These previous visits took place at different healthcare systems, yet a record sharing program was able to show the patient received an extensive workup during these evaluations. The treatment team evaluated the patient on her fourth visit for her chest and epigastric pain. Her triage vitals were found to be reassuring and her exam displayed evidence of tenderness in the upper abdomen. These physicians easily could have written the patient off given the appearance of a chronic process with multiple evaluations, including three separate evaluations over the past two weeks. However, they decided to expand the workup and grab the bedside ultrasound machine. This image was attained in the patient's right upper quadrant. Take some time to interpret before I progress. The image shows the gallbladder on a long axis orientation with the neck of the gallbladder pointing at the portal triad. For me, two things immediately pop out. The first is the presence of stones with their bright echogenic appearance and posterior acoustic shadowing that is visible during the first part of the clip. The importance of fainting across the entire structure is displayed given the transient appearance of the stones only in the first part of the clip. The second is the thickened wall well beyond what is normal for a non-pathologic gallbladder. The team did measure the gallbladder wall and was found to be well beyond the 3 mm upper limit of normal. An additional short axis view was obtained, once again showing the large number of stones within the gallbladder lumen, along with posterior acoustic shadowing. The next view obtained shows the area of the portal triad. Color flow was utilized to assist anatomy differentiation. The large structure on top of the portal vein without color flow is the common bile duct. This was found to be dilated and was measured at 1.2 centimeters. As a clue, any time the portal vein and common bile duct are nearly the same size, you can confidently say the common bile duct is enlarged. I wanted to quickly break from the case given the fact that many people learning gallbladder ultrasound are very uncomfortable with common bile duct identification. This video shows my go-to view for identifying the common bile duct. First, I obtain a long axis view of the gallbladder. This allows adequate visualization of the neck of the gallbladder and the main lobar fissure, which subsequently points at the portal triad. This zoomed in view shows the portal triad with the arrow pointing to the portal vein. Right on top of the portal veins is the common bile duct and hepatic artery, which gives the appearance of a Mickey Mouse sign with the ears representing the common bile duct and hepatic artery. To help differentiate common bile duct from hepatic artery, utilization of color flow can be employed since the common bile duct will have an absence of flow. From my experience, when the common bile duct is dilated, it's quite obvious as displayed in our case, as well as this example with the dilated common bile duct sitting on top of the portal vein. Additionally, if you want farther reassurance or you're unable to visualize the common bile duct, the negative predicted value of normal liver tests is quite high and can potentially rule out the possibility of cholelithiasis. Now back to our case, given the enlarged appearance of the common bile duct and concern for an obstructing stone, a CT was obtained. The CT did show cholelithiasis with a stone in the CBD with subsequent dilation. GI and surgery were both consulted. The patient went for ERCP with stone removal. After subsequent improvement in her symptoms and laboratory values, surgery performed a cholecystectomy two days later and the patient was discharged shortly after with symptomatic resolution. I like this case because it's a cautionary tale of not letting diagnostic momentum cloud the need for an unbiased evaluation. The treating providers easily could have chalked this presentation up to chronic pain with multiple previous negative workups. They entertained the idea of GI pathology and employed a rapid, easy to perform test to evaluate the gallbladder, setting the momentum to ultimately fix this patient's pathologic process and the source of her pain. Thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoyed the case. If you would like a more in-depth review of gallbladder ultrasound, this was covered in detail in the July 2020 case. Please utilize the link to obtain a refresher as needed. Thanks and feel free to comment below.